Hi, everybody. Joe Choppy here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. No Joe and Joe weather show today, but uh, we will have a Joe and Joe weather show tomorrow night, Sunday night at 735 p.m. Eastern time. So mark it down so that you don't miss it again tomorrow night, 735 p.m. Eastern time. So uh, we're going to start off. I had the GFS up there and that's what uh, is going on right now. And actually, this was from earlier today. Uh, still a little bit of leftover precip going on in upstate New York. We've got some big snows going on in uh, Buffalo. They had to uh, reschedule the Buffalo Bills game because of lake effect snows that are going on this evening. And we'll continue and actually pick up again during the day on Sunday. And we might see some snow showers and snow squalls moving through Sunday afternoon uh, from west to east as uh, an arctic front goes by and then it turns uh, colder uh, for sunday night and into monday i'm going to come back to this in just a second and uh, let's look at the watches and warnings that are up we still have wind advisories up for new jersey long island uh, and uh, parts of new york city back across pennsylvania and up into north central new york and down into the uh, appalachians winter storm warnings in Western New York, as well as north central New York, as we said, with that lake effect going on. Uh, and some areas, by the way, in western New York are going to pick up up to two feet of snow out of this. Uh, northern Maine is still under a winter weather advisory. We have some leftover winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, and uh, some blizzard warnings around the Great Lakes from yesterday's storm system. And also seeing some blizzard warnings up. Uh, not necessarily for new snow, but more about uh, blowing the snow that has already accumulated with this wicked cold air mass uh, in that sort of grayish blue color. Those are all um, wind chill warnings that are up from the northern Rockies and northern plains all the way down into parts of the Midwest. New winter weather advisories are up from a small portion of southwestern Virginia, uh, much of Tennessee, except the ex, uh, to the ex, right to the North Carolina state line. And then it becomes a winter storm warning uh, in western Tennessee, down into northern Mississippi, northern Alabama under a winter weather advisory, winter storm warnings for Arkansas, northern Louisiana, and northeastern Texas for snow and maybe some, some K places, uh, some ice and rain in the mix. And we have winter weather advisories across much of the interior part of Texas, uh, from northeast to north to uh, central Texas, uh, also for the chance of frozen and freezing precipitation. Lots of winter storm warnings still ongoing now for the fourth day uh, from Oregon to southern Idaho, northern uh, Utah, uh, northeast Nevada, parts of northern California down to the Sierra Nevadas, and also in western Colorado. So de very definitely uh, a winter pattern has uh, taken hold across uh, the United States. And as we look at the latest satellite loop, um, uh, weather here along the coast at least certainly has improved today with some sunshine in the mix, uh, extending from there southwestward uh, into the Gulf states. Still got this uh, su subtropical jet from the Pacific running across the Gulf and off the southeast coast, but we don't really have a strong northern shortwave feature that is going to come down and get involved with all this and make some kind of a big storm uh, along the east coast and that would i'm re referencing a system that we're watching for that uh, uh, snow uh, and and sleet and rain that's going to be going on from texas northeastward uh, through tennessee and into southwestern virginia that's going to be moving up to the northeast, but it, we don't have something in the north to come down and really energize it. And you continue to see off the Pacific coast a storm system there that is sending waves of moisture into cold air. And that's going to go on for a while. Here's the radar at the moment, uh, still getting some precipitation in Maine uh, and uh, also now in north central New York. And you can see the lake effect that is coming in from Lake Erie uh, and uh, that's impacting uh, Buffalo and points south and west. Uh, we've got other areas of light snow uh, around the Great Lakes. Most of this is aloft and a fairly impressive moisture that continues to roll in off the west coast and into the northwestern quarter of the U.S. Uh, the uh, precipitation over the next number of days, now this is uh, through tomorrow night, 
Uh, and again, with snow showers and snow squalls, uh, some snow squall potential, even reaching the coast, we're talking about small amounts here, less than a tenth of an inch, and in some cases, really as little as one 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 hundredth of an inch. So if we do get those squalls, all we'll see is uh, maybe the ground being whitened up, uh, perhaps a little bit more in some places. More robust pre precipitation for those involved in lake effect, and lots of robust uh, precipitation, half to three quarter inch amounts, and even some inch and a half amounts in the mountains of California, uh, the mountains of California, and also in the western part of uh, Colorado. And I'm going to move this now to Tuesday. Well, I'll give you a quick peek. Here's Monday, and you see a tenth to a quarter of an inch in that area from Texas through Tennessee. And that is going to be moving northeastward by the time we get to Tuesday, uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, uh, early Wednesday, uh, we're looking at a tenth to a quarter of an inch. So not a whole lot here and less than that, all in this light green area that you see extending to the west and south. Snow, uh, well, uh, probability for at least two across 50 percent or more eastern Oklahoma across Arkansas. And then we have a. 80% probability in the Salmon area from uh, East Central Arkansas across Tennessee uh, and into Southern Kentucky and a small portion of Southwestern Virginia. You're also noticing here in the Northeast, they have a zero to 5% chance uh, and in some cases up to 10% chance for at least two. So we're talking low probability here along the coast, high probability in those lake effect areas up to the North and West. And on the long range, the day I would point out is going to be Friday into Saturday because some models are trying to do something uh, toward next weekend. And we're looking at uh, in the light green right now. And this is on the eighth day of the long range. So it's not often that you see uh, anything higher than 10 to 30 percent. And we do have that uh, from uh, the mountains of Tennessee and western North Carolina, northeastward. And then it extends eastward across Maryland and Delaware, and then pretty much all of the northeast uh, going up uh, to Maine. So uh, I'm going to run you through again what we expect here. Uh, upper trough and an Arctic front tomorrow. We've got those snow squalls that will work through. Uh, they actually extend as far south as northern Maryland. Then we have that area of snow that's going to be developing across uh, the south. And you see it there uh, moving northeastward. But again, without any kind of northern stream feature to get in here and energize this coastal low that develops, uh, the snow is very patchy during the day on Tuesday. Uh, some models are actually being more robust with it, but they're not the ones that I usually think are consistent, uh, whereas the GFS and the European are pretty much on the same page. So we're just going to go with the idea of maybe a low end. Maybe it's a coating. Maybe some places get an inch or a little bit more. Some places probably nothing at all. Very cold air clearly is spreading across uh, the Great Lakes uh, down as far south as the Texas Gulf Coast and the Louisiana Gulf Coast uh, and then eventually moving into the southeast. Uh, we're going to see some of that cold air move into the east as well after the system from Tuesday to early Wednesday moves away. Very cold uh, going into the end of the week and then we're going to watch to see the uh, models are, are, are showing something that's going to develop off the East Coast. Uh, this is the uh, GFS model run from earlier today, which really energized a low. None of the other models do this. So bear that in mind. Uh, they do show a storm, but they show something developing further offshore with minor consequences at best. And, and as you know, it's early in the game. And a lot of things are going to be changing along the way. But we're going to get into it in a big way tomorrow night on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. So we hope to see you then.